Hello, what's going guys? It's Miss Steve and welcome to Spider Get Tunes and welcome to the video of Aquaman issue number 29 explained and lots of talks about this one and I'm gonna show you guys what these guys have done in this Aquaman so first of all I'm gonna rate it out uh, 7 out of 10 because it's not too bad but it's good enjoyable and 7 it's come on pretty much good enough so yeah let's read it out from vsizedccomics.com and this reviews from Reggie Hemingway so yeah uh, am I spelled the right name yeah he is the Reggie Hemingway the legend so yeah I would like to title this review never read the solicits for those unaware a solicit is the marketing copy and cover image that at one time was only available to retailers several months before the retail date now anyone can take a look at them and the copy is often attached to the preview pages available about a week before the on sale date. Now over the course of several months elements of a story may change this is why solicit copy is often as ambiguous as possible. Still it is a delicate dance of reveal and sometimes entire stories change radically for untold reasons from the time of solicit to the moment you hold the issue in your hands. Case in point, this recent story arc in Aquaman, the solicitations are not wildly different and they still detail a story about Arthur being deposed by Coram Wrath and Atlantis being surrounded by the crown of thorns. But Arthur and Dolphin were supposed to play a much more visible role in the story, something also evidenced by the early Stepan Sejic covers that have been completely redrawn for finale. The reality is that Aquaman and Dolphin have become supporting players in this tale and Mira has been pushed much more to the forefront when it seemed like she might be temporarily joining the Justice League several issues back. Arthur's conversation with Dolphin which might verge on adorable if it were not a continuation of the same from the last issue suggests he might mosey on to dry land once this whole ordeal is over and Mira looks to be angling to take over Atlantean politics. I wonder what changed this story and I wonder if Dark Knight's metal had something to do with it. In the specific, Mira and Tempest continue to fight the magicians from the silent school who were fairly well dispensed with while Tempest explains how much he hates using magic. He is able to secure a pendant that allows Mira passes through the crown of thorns and she uses it to do just that. Maybe the most entertaining part of the book was with Falco and Ondine hanging out with a faceless ghost as it escorts them to the ancient weapons room. Volko eventually does figure out his name and he has been down there so long that he wants to chat Volko up about the world above. It's more or less the way I expected this to turn out but it was fun to read it play out. The other important bit is at the end when Crab Crush shows up at the palace to rat Aquaman out to Corum Wrath and Commander Mark Tusis turned out told you he was involved in this Aquaman cover up. This is a pretty bit issue and lots of bad things and good things are happening and lots of brutal things. But the illustration has a same kind of style of Aquaman series and the whole illustration I love this kind of illustration and Meryl looks so hot. Aquaman is really well built in this comic book illustration. This is a pretty bit issue. It might have played better back in the months of double shipping, but to merely conclude the paltry storylines from the previous issue doesn't really cut the mustard month to month. I enjoyed some of this issue and overall this is pretty much good and enjoyable and what you can say that is awesome. I enjoyed some of this issue, the stuff with Volko and Ondine in particular and I'm glad Mira has finally gotten beyond the crown of thorns and into Atlantis proper. But lords, it's been a long slog to get to this point and that just happened. So hope you guys have enjoyed this review and if you want to buy this comic book just go to the store and buy this Aquaman issue number 29 explained after oh no <laughs> by the Aquaman issue number 29 and enjoy the comic book because next one is coming very soon and DC is doing really great job on this reboot series and every reboot series. So have a great day guys. Good night and adios amigos.